down the line if you want to go ahead and start pushing. Yeah, it's got 15 years ago you and Nikki were hoisting that second championship trophy. Is it cool to just kind of see where you guys have gone after graduating and to be here today? It is. Um, I think with us both being moms, us both kind of taking different paths, but we always find somewhere in that path to meet. Um, as soon as Nikki called me and asked me if I would help out with this event um, with Girls Inc., you know, it, it, there was no hesitation. I think it's always a big deal to come back to where you spent some of the most pivotal years of your life um, and give back to the community. I think, um, you know, with me having little girls, she has little boys, um, there's nothing else better that we could do than to give back to, to the community. Yeah, absolutely. And in your role as a coach, you have a really amazing opportunity to really mentor young women at such a pivotal time in their lives. And then now you can use that platform to talk to girls that are even younger. As a, basketball, a very successful basketball player yourself, what does that mentorship really mean and how can it truly change their lives? Um, well, you know, our coach, uh, Pat, used to tell us if all she did was teach us X's and O's, then she's not doing her job. And I think that speaks to, to this and what Nikki has done with Girls Inc. and building it. Um, you know, it's just a, a special situation to be in to know that we're not only worried about, you know, helping players develop on the court, but also off the court. Alex, it's also a full circle moment for Kiki McKinney. She played in this high school gym. I believe you recruited her to Ole Miss when you were an assistant there. She ends up going to Kentucky. She becomes your grad assistant at Gardner-Webb, and yep. now you hired her at Memphis. Yep. Talk about what this probably means to Kiki, too, to be here. Well, when Nikki approached me about this and she said she wanted to be in Knoxville, you know, Kiki was the perfect person for me to bring along on my staff, knowing that she's from this area. Um, she's grown up in this area. She went to high school at Fulton. I believe she may be getting her jersey retired um, in December. So, you know, it's a good opportunity for her to come back and show that um, what you can do, you know, if you do the right things off the court. Um, you guys are also honoring you know, Nikki McCray and Tasha Butts today. Just knowing what they did for this game, how special is it to kind of honor their and share their legacy with this next generation of players? Um, well, Nikki and Tasha both were um, my realistic examples um, when I was a player of players who also became coaches. Um, you know, I think that in my generation, those were probably the main two that you know, I could kind of follow and try to emulate their steps and how loyal they were to their head coaches and how they presented themselves, whether it be on the road recruiting or on the sidelines coaching. Um, so I think it's, you know, Nikki wanted to do something special for them. Um, and I think, you know, coming from where we come from, we know the Lady Balls are all about family and all about um, the Lady Ball family. So um, it was important for Nikki to be able to honor them. Um, so again, you know, I think it's, it's something that we needed to do because those are our Lady Ball sisters. Absolutely, and when we were talking with Nikki, she explained to us that when she was a young girl growing up, there weren't camps like this, especially mm -hmm. for women's basketball players. How does it feel now to be in your position to get back and create kind of this new world of support for women's mm -hmm. basketball that you guys didn't necessarily have growing up? Yeah, you know, the only thing we had really was each other. You know, we did our things here and there, but um, when you look at where we came from, um, Nikki coming from New York, I came from Shelbyville, Tennessee. Um, you know, there just wasn't people like us who we could look up to, who were giving back constantly, who were, whose main goal was just to build a community. Alex, you're serving on the uh, Girls Inc. board now, I assume because no one can tell Nikki no. How did that come about? And then as I look over to your right, I see Nikki, I see Kiki, I see Kelly. I mean, it's just a Lady Ball reunion, mm -hmm. isn't it? It is. Um, yeah, when, when Nikki first told me that she was on the board, um, I told her kind of what I was trying to do, and it was almost um, uncanny because I had just got off the phone with Girls Inc. Memphis. Um, Nikki sent me an article that she had just became my AD, um, and I told her, well, I've been trying to get in touch, and she's like, well, well, you should let me reach out to Amanda, and hopefully you can be on the board here. Um, and, you know, one thing led to another, and we made it happen. A follow-up, it's Kelly Kane over there, who's yep. now an assistant coach at Webb. What is it about former Lady Balls that just gravitate to the coaching ranks? Um, you know, I think a little bit of it has to do with the type of people we are, um, the type of kids and type of women that Pat recruits and develops. Um, but I also think it has a little bit to do with the heart that we have for each other. Um, at one point or another, regardless of when we played, we all walked the same path and we all played in the same gym. Um, you know, we all went through the same hard things. Um, but I, I think that just goes back to the legacy and what it means to be a Lady Ball. One, one quick thing too about you coming back to, to your home state mm -hmm. and being from Shelbyville, just how 
How excited were you and your husband, Christian Simmons, of course, who has deep ties to mm -hmm. the basketball in the state, to come home? Um, you know, we always have had the goal to at some point come back to whether it be Middle Tennessee, East Tennessee, or West Tennessee. Um, we really didn't have any preference um, and didn't know when that was going to happen. So the fact that, you know, it can happen now when our daughters are both in elementary school, they're finally getting into basketball. Um, you know, it's, it's just a blessing for us to be able to be back in the state. Um, hopefully, you know, we can be here for a very, very long time and our, our, play, our uh, kids can grow up in Tennessee just like we did. Thank you, Alex. Thanks, so